All right, this is this is Tar OJ, and this one this is my second video for my double upload for my double upload for character analysis. So the character we got on the play today is Suna Sawa, forgive Sawa Sawada from Katekyo Hitman Reborn, and I already explained in my earlier video how this video is gonna go. Kind of just gonna give a deeper you know analysis for this character and the general misconception for this character is that he's just pretty much just like Deku or like a loser that doesn't develop or that you know his hyper his hyper mode is the main you know kind of carry of his character so for this video I will not be including that mode his dying wheel mode, I will not be including it. And I'm just gonna stick strictly to the character that is Suna Sawayo Sawada. So let's start. Uh background Suna, Suna is is known by his nickname Loser Suna by him not being able to pass classes, really just uh, not be able to do sports, not really just good at anything, which is the hence then it's kinda just he has a loser personality and stuff like that. It's kinda just stuff like that. And then he beats somebody who tells him that he has to become the the tenth boss of a mafia on business business, something that he kinda got dragged into, which, you know, he doesn't didn't wanna know. And he has to become that a strong enough to become and take over as a boss. So that's just pretty much the background for it. Uh let's go into the deeper, you know, the character progression, you know, character development. So I feel like Suna, as a character, was you know bound to ha it was he was bound to have to develop to even become a good character, even though he still hasn't you know without since we're gonna be including we're gonna be not including that I feel like without that he has shown signs of good character without that so my thing is that he like I said he was like I said he was bound to develop but the biggest thing behind that was that when I want. I always wanted to hear Suna say himself that I, you know, I want to get stronger. I want to protect my. I want to, you know, protect my, you know, people, and to protect my friends in this case. So, even though Don Will is, even though Don Will Mo is kind of like your deeper what you want personified, him is a he is a character himself. Always needed to show that initiative to be like outside of that. That I want to train. I want to do this. And when we finally got it after the Mukuro arc, after the Mukuro arc, but he wanted to train because he found out, you know, in the the um, the Bongolia Rings arcs that he kind of asked. He said he wants to get stronger. He says he wants to, you know, do this. He started training. And even though he still like you know cries about it because it's just his personality about stuff, he gets you know. He finally understands that, to in order, in order to do certain things, that he has to get stronger. He has to change as a person, and I really enjoy that about him. I feel like honestly, Asuna as a character takes a while to develop, but you don't miss, but. As a, and when he does develop and when the, he does do those slight changes, you always just feel happy for him. And like I said, his his more bigger changes came in the future arc, which was is probably one of the longest arcs in that series. So my biggest his biggest thing was finally realizing that that you know, kinda like that everything isn't everything he has to take stuff seriously now. Everything is for protecting people, even if that means pushing them away. He tries, you know, be caring. He tries to be strong for people, you know, to kind of say face value between people that don't need to know, like, you know, like the two girls that was always with him, like Rohe's sister and um, the my favorite girl, Hina. And I feel like what, you know, what, Really, kind of just brought the change about was that real him, him realizing that he was in more deep trouble and that those people was gonna get involved with it, even though there are people they are people that you know kind of don't have any experience with that. But he keeps on growing throughout, like throughout each arc, and it kind of feels great to see his growth. You know, his growth throughout the deprivation. I know I said like different different names for it, but his desperation mode 
And he slowly comes into his own, like, slow, like, it's a slow process, like, to his development. And I just feel like, honestly, the more is more, you know, the more, the more the time it comes on, goes on, the more and more he gets more serious about certain things, even without that. Like, is and a lot of people gotta understand that also with his character, he was kind of dragged to a situation that should be fit nobody the age of 15. Kind of like Ichigo, but he is an entirely different character. Kind of, he was just kind of dra- dragged into it and was kind of like, here this is, you know, here this is, and you know, stuff like that. So, he does get a lot of training. He, you know, he loves to see this. He wants to protect his mom. He actually even has the will to fight his dad. Like, to fight, you know, fight his dad later on in another arc. And then you also see how much, you know, how much he realizes that he had to change to become that person that he, that he thinks he, you know, to become that person that is able to bite the bullet and say that I need to do this with my friends. That's his biggest, you know, you know, kind of just development right there. But... Then we, now we're going to go to the impact of the character. I feel like the thing is that with the, you know, daily life art, everything felt more natural after that within him just, you know. Of course, he is the MC of the series, so he, you think a lot of focus would be on him. You know, on him. And the way that he can gather a group of guys and rally them, like, you know, rally them, or kind of just, you know, get people who would normally not get along to get to go together and realize that we're we're we're, the, we're we're friends and we're family i feel like a lot of people have changed and depending on how they change in the series will always be a result of how he acts in the first place in the first place like even if we think about it growing up Suna was able to calm down even habari even like you know koya hibari like the person that didn't take rules for nobody like <laughs> and I just feel like the way the other characters really, uh, you know, really act is the way he, you know, presents himself. The way they really think is the way that he's, he's brings the, even though he's a timid guy and he's slowly became, he didn't slowly become a kid. He, you know, he didn't become somebody that's like, oh, yeah, like a bad guy or like, you know, a big tough guy. He still is that person that has a lot of human, you know, humanity in him, like a little humanity. He still wants to save people. He don't fight. He doesn't fight for the sake of fighting. He fights to protect people he only fights when he's in a position to where he has to and you can tell by a lot of the other characters interaction how they always felt like even with if you you even think about it even with like you know lambo he even though lambo was pretty much annoying to him in a lot of series he didn't want to bring him out because first he's a kid and you know, other thing. But even that, adult Lambo said that he had some of the best moments being with Suna and them out on the field when he was even a child. So, just another thing that, you know, kind of want to think about. So, personal opinion, I like, I feel like I like this series and I feel like he, him and Duke Deku is nothing like. And I feel like what separates them is that, you know, mainly a lot of things personality wise. I feel like as a character, he kind of, he kind of grew on to me. Once he start realizing that that he needs it's stuff that he needs to change about himself to become that person that isn't a loser anymore. Seeing him slowly change is like watching a kid grow up. To be honest with you, and I feel like what a lot of people miss is that in the daily arc, the daily arc is the biggest contributor to seeing how much sooner develop develops after that. So I mean, this is kind of just what I see from the character. If you know a guy in the Egyptians, leave him in the comments below. But make sure if you liked this video, give it a like, you know, subscribe, maybe. <laughs> subscribe, maybe. <laughs> but um, and comment, comment, like, comment. Just say like, what would you, what character you would see, or what, you know, kind of what character I do. Follow me on Twitter. At, um, I'll leave that. I have that in the description below. But other than that, this is Stark OJ. Peace.